चरनी में ग्वालों की बस्ती में बैलों की चरनी में पैदा हुआ है मसीह जीवन की जोटी जली देश यहूदा के बैतल हम में जीवन की ज्योति जली The melodious songs of the blessed, and the spirit shall sorrow no more. Oh, not a sigh for the blessing of rest in the sweet by and by. We shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet 
by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore to a bountiful father above we will offer tribute of praise for the glorious gift of his love and the blessings that hail our days in the sweet by and by we shall meet on the beautiful shore in the sweet by and by we shall meet on the beautiful shore praise jesus hallelujah
Very good evening, everybody. Uh, it is such a joy uh, to come and uh, meet with each uh, one of you in this uh, Zoom platform. And we thank God for this opportunity God has given through Back to the Bible to meet with uh, uh, faith partners, prayer partners, coordinators, managers, and supporters and all the board members and uh, people who are praying all over India, uh, we could meet on this platform and say uh, thank you for uh, taking time and uh, joining with uh, us this evening to celebrate God's faithfulness uh, in our lives, in the ministry, and also to praise and thank God and uh, listen to God's word and commit our lives uh, for a fresh and new season in our life. Uh, we are very happy uh, to uh, have our board members with us uh, joining uh, uh, Mr. William Curry, the chairman of the board for Good News Broadcasting Society, Mr. B. John, uh, our board of directors. Uh, we want to thank and appreciate Colonel N. Uh, Prasad Reddy, sir, uh, for his uh, encouragement and participation. We also remember Brother Anthony Raju, uh, one of the board of directors uh, from Karnataka, and uh, we want to thank Reverend Shirshat uh, Joseph, sir, uh, who is helping with the Marathi Punarachna ministry. Uh, thank you, sir, for uh, joining us. And we have Reverend John Paul, uh, who has been a great encouragement, praying and uh, motivating us to move ahead uh, in this ministry. We have uh, Mr. Mr. Ephraim, one of our board of directors. We thank you, sir, for uh, being there uh, in this uh, meeting. At this time, uh, we want to open this uh, session with a word of prayer uh, by our uh, board of directors, Mr. B. John. I uh, want to request, uh, sir, to please uh, open this uh, with a word of prayer. Over to Mr. B. John, sir. Thank you, Brother Anil. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Praise the Lord. Glad to join you all at this hour, God, in the ministry of Back to the Bible. Shall we pray? Blessed Father, we thank thee and praise thee for this blessed to join on this platform to thank thee, to praise thee, to worship thee and to adore thee for thy faithfulness in the ministry of Back to the Bible in our country. Thank thee, Father, for sustaining thine work in our country to touch the lives of many with thine word. We thank thee at this time for all those who are connected on this call that we may spend time together in celebrating thine faithfulness, thine goodness, and continuing this ministry for thine glory. We thank thee, Father, for thou hast been a source of strength, encouragement, and thou hast been, Lord, encouraging everyone who Who is connected with this ministry in his offices and especially for all the faith partners and prayer partners who are contributing their might and also Lord supporting this ministry through their valuable prayers. We thank thee for each one of them. We thank thee Father for this great country of ours. There are millions of people still groping in darkness. There are many, Lord, who haven't heard the gospel. So far, we pray thee, Lord, that thou will continue this work for thine glory in the days to come. That, Lord, through this ministry, many lives be touched. Many may be attracted to Lord Jesus Christ and the love thou hath shown to them. 
and be saved by believing in the work that he accomplished on the cross of Calvary. We thank the Father for all the prayer part advanced in age. They have been so long, Lord, been faithful in supporting this work for thine glory in our country and energy. And Lord, protect them from this virus that is there around us. Keep them for thine glory. That, Lord, they may pray for this ministry. They may be able to, Lord, live lives, Lord, filled with joy. And, Lord, be strengthened by thee and thine word in their day-to-day -day lives. And spend time with their families. And encourage many others, Lord, to be drawn to thine word through the ministry of back to the Bible in our country. We thank that this time for this blessed privilege and opportunity that we could spend time on this platform. That Lord, each one of us may be encouraged by thee, strengthened through the fellowship that we're going to have, though we are physically apart. We commit the time that is, make this time a blessing to each one of us. We pray for all those who are going to take part in this program. Lead them and guide them by the Holy Spirit of God. That whatever is presented, Lord, is presented for thine glory and for the spiritual encouragement and of each one of us. We also pray thee that issues with the network and that we may be, Lord, we may stay connected till the end of the program that thou may continue to bless us this evening. We commit, Lord, all those who are joined together at this time and the program that is ahead of us to thy mighty hands. We ask thee, O oh Father, to bless us at this hour. For we give thee thanks and offer this prayer in the blessed name of thy beloved Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate uh, joining with us and praying for this session. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, Anil. Thank you. It's my privilege. I'm very happy to uh, join with uh, one and all uh, during this uh, season uh, to get to know each other, to get in touch and also uh, to be connected as uh, partners in the gospel. We want to uh, request our dear uh, chairman, uh, Reverend William Carey, sir, at this time to share a few words of greetings and encourage the people on board. Over to uh, Mr. William Carey, sir. Yeah, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Ah, yes. Yeah, it's a great joy to. Uh, having met together like this as a family of Back to the Bible. And I bring you greetings from the host of prayer partners spread all over the world, praying for us, and also particularly from India and from all the uh, states, uh, India, which is called the Museum of Languages. And we praise God uh, at this uh, uh, time, which is a critical period, which we have not uh, experienced, uh, either we nor our forefathers have experienced. The dark days, unusual circumstances. And uh, I feel uh, uh, great because God raises his people in spite of all these circumstances, an understanding, sometimes unbearable, and also uh, unwanted uh, situations like this. And of course, we know this pandemic, uh, God has planned it. It's in the midst of it. And God has a purpose behind this uh, uh, turmoil. And also God has his own plans. 
and uh, uh, he accomplishes them through his people. And all over the history of the Christendom, we see God raising people to meet with the circumstances and also occasions and to come on to the stage in their lifetime and speak boldly of him. And the entire history is filled with when there was violence and immorality during the time of flood, God raised Noah. And during the time of Eliza, there was also situation was very sad and people were worshipping Baal. And God has kept for himself. We see that he also in Romans 4 and 1 to 4, Romans 11 and 1 to 4, that God has kept 7,000 people for himself who can stand boldly for him. And uh, all this uh, era, Christian era, God is using several people. God raised John Huss and God raised John Knox. God raised, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, several people, several people he raised. And uh, in order to meet with the eight time warfare, to spread his message, his name, glorify his name through radio, which was invented by Graham Bell in 1875. And uh, he raised uh, Theodore Epp and he used him and he blessed his ministry. An ordinary man, a short man, having only $65, not even enough for one radio program to be aired in United States of America from Lincoln, of course, Nebraska. And God raised him for the occasion and used him. And now we know what back to the Bible is in several countries, several prayer partners are blessed, several believers, several churches were blessed with the ministry of back to the Bible. And all these warriors, all these missionaries, all the people who raised in spite of all the odd circumstances were humble people, ordinary people, human beings in their own limitations. But God used them. You know, God chooses people and God uses people and God protects his remnant and God raises people to meet with the occasion to accomplish his purpose in spite of all the uh, uh, problems that we are facing uh, these days. And uh, may God bless the efforts of Back to the Bible. And thank you for uh, uh, giving your time and joining us. And even as we go through this program and all the witnesses, the message especially uh, by uh, brother, beloved brother Ashok Singh, and also all the other reports and details would be a blessing this evening. And thank you so much for joining us. And uh, may God help us and guide us this evening in a special way and reveal his plans and purpose through this meeting. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, uh, William Carey, sir. I appreciate uh, those uh, words of encouragement and uh, inspiration to all of us. I appreciate uh, all your effort in the ministry of Back to the Bible, and may God bless you, sir, and your family. Yeah, we're going to uh, listen to some songs and uh, testimonies of how uh, uh, God has been faithful and been able to touch lives of people all over India. And some of the people have shared their testimonies uh, as an encouragement to all of us. You surely have a testimony, uh, have a word to tell how Back to the Bible, Bible teaching program has been uh, helping you for your spiritual growth. Surely please do write to us and share your thoughts with us. We will be very happy to to visit them. So let's go on to listen to a couple of songs and testimonies as we move on. Thank you.
నేను మిసెస్ మార్గరేట్ విజయ వైఫ్ ఆఫ్ లేట్ ఏఎస్ త్యాగరాజ్ బ్యాక్ టు ద బైబుల్ మినిస్ట్రీకి యేసు ప్రభు నామం నా వందనములు నేను ఆత్మీయమైన అంధకారంలో ఆత్మీయమైన ఆకల దప్పులతో ఉన్నప్పుడు దేవుడు నాకు చూపించిన మినిస్ట్రీ బ్యాక్ టు ద బైబిల్ రేడియో ప్రోగ్రాం నేను వ్రాసిన లెటర్కి బ్రదర్ రిప్లై ఇచ్చారు నీ పాపంలో ఒప్పుకో దేవుడు నీ పాపములు క్షమించి నీకు శాంతినిస్తాడు అని నేను విరిగి నలిగిన హృదయంతో నా పాపంలో ఒప్పుకున్నాను యేసు ప్రభు నా పాపములు క్షమించి నా హృదయాన్ని ఆయన రక్తంతో కడిగి పరిశుద్ధాత్మతో నింపి నాకు శాంతి సమాధానము సంతోషం ఇచ్చారు పరిశుద్ధాత్మతో జన్మించడం పరిశుద్ధాత్మ బాప్తిసము రెండు జరిగినాయి పంతొమ్మిది వందల ఎనభై ఏడులో మేము బెంగళూరులో సెటిల్ అయిన తర్వాత నా భర్తగారికి రెండు కిడ్నీలు ఫెయిల్యూర్ అయినందువల్ల మేము చాలా కాలం కాంట్రిబ్యూషన్స్ పంపలేకపోయినప్పటికీ బ్యాక్ టు ద బైబిల్ మినిస్ట్రీ నుండి మ్యాగజైన్స్ బుక్స్ పంపి ఆధ్యాత్మికంగా బలపడడానికి సహాయం చేసినందుకు మీకు నా వందనములు ఇంకో ఇంకా ఎన్నో ఆత్మలను యేసు ప్రభు యొక్క వధూ సంగమునకు అనగా సార్వత్రిక సంగమునకై మీరు సంపాదించాలని ప్రార్థిస్తున్నాను అతిశయించువాడు ప్రభునందే అతిశయించాలి అన్న దేవుని వాక్యము ఇది ఎంతో సత్యము దేవుని చిత్త ప్రకారం మాను మారు మనసు పొందినప్పుడు రెండు దేవుడు రెండు దీవెనలు ఇస్తారు పరిశుద్ధాత్మ బాప్తిస్తము పరిశుద్ధాత్మతో జన్మించడము థ్యాంక్ యూ first of all i thank god for this wonderful time that he has given me to share my short testimony my name is dr bankit lang roy marpana from the state of meghalaya and i'm working in a full time ministry it's really a blessing for me to receive a daily devotion the articles magazines and also the bible correspondence goes from the back to the bible ministry god bless each and every one of you who are involving in this ministry god bless you more and more for the glory of god thank you Oh, oh, oh. 
much. Uh, I hope uh, you are encouraged uh, by the testimonies and also the songs uh, sung for the glory of God. And we praise God for everyone who has uh, contributed in making uh, uh, this program. May God bless uh, all the participants. We are very happy to uh, introduce uh, one of the branch ministries of Back to the Bible, known as Satya Vasanam, uh, Tamil ministry, been there for a number of years, serving faithfully, teaching God's word uh, in every possible way. And uh, let's uh, listen to our manager and we bring greetings uh, from uh, Satya Vasanam. Uh, we want to uh, request Mr. Palnivel Abraham, the manager of Satya Vasanam, to share the report, followed by some testimonies and songs. Thank you. Praise the Lord. We thank God for this good opportunity that He given us to share about the Satyavasanam Tamil ministry. We bring our greetings to each and every one of you from Satyavasanam ministry. We would like to thank our associate managing director, Brother Anit Kumar, and the board chairman. Brother William Carey and all the directors of the board. Satyavasana Radio Ministry was founded in Sri Lanka in 1959 by the Back to the Bible missionary Reverend Don Rubes. In 1959, in Sali, a five minutes radio program was started. And this ministry gradually enlarged. In the days that followed, Satyavasana Radio program was aired in the morning and evening throughout the week. Countless people living in the Southeast Asia region was benefited from this radio program. Then the Satyavasana office was established in India 1973 at Delhi. Now Satyavasana office has been functioning in Tamil Nadu state at Madurai since 1983. We praise God for the open doors God has given to this ministry of Satyavasana. Many thousands of people are benefiting from this ministry. I wish to share about our ministry work for the glory of God. First of all, we are doing radio ministry. Satyavasana radio programs are broadcasting every week on Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday on shortwave 31 meter band. Second, we are doing television ministry. Satyavasana television programs are telecasting four days in a week on Sunday, Monday, Thursday, Friday from different satellite channels. Our TV programs are publishing on YouTube channel also. Next we are doing literature ministry. We are publishing two bi-monthly periodicals that is Satyavasanam magazine and Anudinam Kistodan devotional book. Through this many readers are spiritually benefited. We are doing website ministry also. We publish spiritual messages and daily devotion regularly in Satyavasana website. We are also doing Bible Kasman course. Nearly 500 people have joined so far and studying the Bible courses. Next, we are doing Satyavasana WhatsApp ministry. Nearly 2000 people are getting spiritual blessings daily by receiving daily verses and daily devotions. Finally, we are doing prayer and counseling ministry. Prayer ministry is essential part of our ministry. This is the backbone of our ministry. Many people are contacting with us daily for prayers. We pray earnestly for them. Every morning, Satyavasanam staff members pray together in our office. Hundreds of partners pray with us daily through the prayer calendar we publish. The Lord hears our prayers and answers people. Many are being blessed through our prayers. Prayer is victory. No victory without prayer. Let us pray and be victorious. I once again praise God for this good opportunity that He has given. May the Lord bless you. Praise the Lord.
beloved in Christ. I greet you all in the name of our everlasting Savior in Jesus Christ. First of all, I wish to introduce myself. I am working as a laboratory technician in Central Reserve Police Force and my name is Deva Sabhavi. Amidst of my government duty, I share the word of God right from 1998. I started my ministry while I was posted in Gujarat. But my ministry was strengthened when I got involved with the Satyavasan ministries. That is during my posting in Pune where I got attended the meetings of Satyavasana Convention. The worldly blessings are uncertain and today the people are, especially the selected chosen people are running behind it. And we should know what the God says before for entering in the eternal kingdom. That's what the Bible says. This information, this type of messages I got received from the speakers of the Back to the Bible ministry that is Satyavasana and it is very helpful for me during my sermons at the latest churches in our areas. God is really strengthening me whenever I get any doubt I only refer from the word of God that is the Bible not from any and the sermons which are very old given by the back, of, back to the Bible speakers are very much useful to me. May Lord bless that ministry. I wish on behalf of my family members and my ministry supporters. Amen. Praise the Lord, dear sisters and brothers. This is Hida James, wife of Professor James Daniel, who is the honorary representative of uh, Satyavasanam in Tambaram area. And uh, we are very grateful to God regarding this devotion book. That is uh, Anudinam Kristudan. In fact, uh, for the past 20 years, we have been continuously using this book in our family prayer. The thoughts shared here by our beloved sisters and brothers of God are so nice and they are really enlightening our minds. And it uh, gives matter for self-correction and self-thinking and self-inspection and it is so encouraging and edifying and it makes us think each and every devotion though it is of one page it is very much abundant in a lot of God's words God's wisdom and enlightenment we pray that everyone should subscribe for this magazine and use it in their daily devotion time and we are thankful to God for the sisters and brothers who are writing this devotion God bless each and every one abundantly those who write as well as those who read and I never used to miss this morning devotion written by Dr. Woodrow Kroll it is also very nice and really we, we derive all comfort, we derive all encouragement and everything from this. May God bless this magazine ministry. Thank you. Yeah, it is indeed uh, such a joy uh, to listen to the melodious uh, and heart-touching uh, songs from our uh, Satyavasana ministries. Appreciate uh, the doctors and sisters who have sung the song. 
May God bless you and also the testimonies uh, of how God's word and the Bible teaching ministry has been an encouragement and helping for spiritual growth. We want to appreciate Brother uh, Palnive, who is doing a great job and appreciate all the staff all together uh, who has uh, uh, contributed to the ministry for the rents. At this uh, time, we want to uh, introduce uh, the ministry of uh, Unar Rachana, the Marathi ministry, uh, which is head by uh, our dear board of director, Reverend uh, Shirshad Joseph, sir, uh, for taking personal interest and uh, committing uh, towards this ministry in teaching the Bible every day uh, from the books of the Bible. Uh, and we want to appreciate uh, his uh, Bible teaching on radio and also on the YouTube. Uh, we want to listen to a special song and then uh, we will uh, move on uh, later. At this time, I want to request our uh, uh, manager, Mr. Abraham Justice, who will be sharing about uh, Punar Rachana ministry and uh, also Masihi Vandana ministry. Over to uh, Abraham Justice, our manager for Masihi Vandana, Delhi. Yes, Abraham, please go ahead. Thank you, uh, dear Associate Director Anil Kumar. Thank you very much for this blessed time you have given me to share about the ministry about Punarajna and Masivana. Both should I share at a time or An unmute, unmute? You have to talk unmute. about Punarajna, Marathi ministry. Only Punarajna, okay. So, it has been uh, a great challenge uh, for us uh, to about this ministry, about Punarajna. It was started very uh, long back and uh, later on it was discontinued. But somehow by God's grace and uh, his uh, great uh, mercies, we were able to again restart the ministry. So I just want to give a few updates what is going on and how the ministry has taken and how our uh, board of director Reverend uh, Joseph Sisa is contributing and how this ministry we are able to take it forward. This Punarachana ministry it is a, it's a part of a Bible ministry. It's a Marathi ministry. So and. Uh, I have made three different groups in this, that is WhatsApp group, live Zoom meeting, and literature, uh, literature and YouTube. So you will come to know what all we are doing in WhatsApp group. We are sending daily devotions to WhatsApp group, and we have nearly about 15 uh, Punarachana WhatsApp groups. Uh, every day we send daily devotions in Marathi. And also we do send in WhatsApp group short messages on summary of Old Testament books. So, uh, our Reverend Joseph Srisad has recorded uh, the summary of each and every book in Marathi, a uh, little summary of each and every of all the Old Testaments, and that we are posting in the WhatsApp group. So, and the many people are liking it, and they are encouraged, and they are able to understand, because such material in Marathi is not available, and which is by the uh, which our battle Bible Punarachana is making it available in Marathi. And also, we are posting a message on Bible characters like Ruth, uh, Joseph, so short, short messages which we used to put on radios also. So, same thing we are putting in the WhatsApp group. So, if, when you, if you join this, any Marathi people, uh, speaking people, they will definitely enjoy it as many are enjoying it. And also, live Zoom meeting every month, Thursday, first Thursday, and last Thursday of the month, we have special uh, message on Zoom by our Reverend uh, Joseph Srishad. Uh, and many people are joining it every week, every Thursday, we have a different topic which is relevant to the present uh, situation and condition. And 
every week we have Bible study also on Wednesdays uh, uh, on Zoom. Uh, every Wednesday we have this in Marathi. All these programs are in Marathi. And also many other uh, Bible study groups, uh, church groups are contacting uh, our pastor Srisad and we are also trying through Punarachana, we are trying to also take uh, the Bible study in their churches as per their request. Uh, literally, we have started uh, releasing few of the Marathi books written by our speaker, uh, Joseph Srisad, and already we have launched two or three books in Marathi, that is, uh, Daily Strength for the Journey, Theodore App in Marathi, and uh, what is the gospel of uh, Dr. John Newfield in Marathi? We have released it, and few more books we are in about to launch. And one book we have launched that is on the book of Ruth, all in Marathi. And uh, all the messages of Pastor Reverend uh, Joseph Srisad is now available on YouTube. So we have Punarachna YouTube channel also in place. And also, we have started Marathi magazine. So this we have started in a very uh, um, uh, in a very short we started this and this is how the Lord is helping and guiding and all these activities which we are doing in Punarachana and I request you all to please uh, I request you all to please uh, remember Punarachana and Marathi ministry especially if you can remember Marathi Marathi ministry and continue to pray for us Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Brother Abraham. Uh, we want to thank God for all the hard work and efforts uh, that the Masihi Vandana Ministry is doing. And we also appreciate uh, Brother Sonu Singh, uh, the associate in uh, Masihi Vandana, uh, along with uh, Reverend uh, Joseph Shirshad, sir, for the Bible teachings. So please do contact uh, Brother Abraham to get uh, daily Bible devotionals or Bible teaching uh, um, resources that you can enjoy uh, by receiving them on your mobile phone. Uh, we are very happy to have a special song in Marathi. So sit back and enjoy and praise God as you connect with this song. Thank you. तुझा रक्ताने तुझा रक्ताने तुझा रक्ताने है प्रभु क्रिस्ता माझे तारन झाले आता माझे तारन झाले आता तुझा रक्ताने तुझा रक्ताने तुझा रक्ताने तुझा रक्ताने तुझा रक्ताने हे प्रभु क्रिस्ता माझे तारन झाले आता माझे तारन झाले आता मुझे तार न जाले आता हर पीली क्रुसावर काया तू आगाध के लिस माया हर पीली क्रुसावर काया तू आगाध के माझे तारन झाले आता 
माझे तार न जाने आता तुझा रक्ताने तुझा रक्ताने तुझा रक्ताने हे प्रभु क्लिस्ता माझे तार न झाले आता माझे तार न झाले आता माझे तार न झाले आता Thank you very much, uh, Brother Bharat, uh, for that uh, uh, beautiful song. We want to uh, give this time to our uh, manager at Delhi, Brother Abraham Justice, to update on the Masihi Vandana, how God is taking this ministry from one level to another level, reaching different languages. Over to Abraham Justice. Thank you once again to our dear and uh, Reverend uh, A.P. Anil Kumar for giving me this, this opportunity to tell about Masi Vandana. And also I want to thank our dear chairman and all the board members and all those of us uh, who are present here and especially to our today's special speaker also. I want to thank uh, for being here and giving this opportunity and with patience you will be listening to me or her about Punarachana. Now I will be sharing you about Masi Vandana. As our dear uh, brother Panvil Abraham, uh, Abraham has already said, in 1973 in the Delhi, uh, this ministry was registered in India by the name. And there, from there, Masi Vandana started. So in 1973, Masi Vandana was started and there were a few founders uh, who were who started this, and later on this Masivana got uh, closed down, and I joined in 2012 uh, in Masivana. When I joined, it was uh, totally uh, a closed down uh, unit. So it was uh, very difficult for me uh, to understand how to start and how to go forward and to take this ministry forward. As our dear uh, director has said, how we have taken to the next level, it is only by God's grace and all your praise, uh, we were able to uh, go forward. We have started the uh, WhatsApp group, and through WhatsApp group, we started daily devotion in only Hindi. Later on, we started in uh, Marathi, through from Masivana itself in Marathi and in different other languages, which I will tell you later on. And uh, now we are posting in WhatsApp, uh, WhatsApp group every day, uh, this day devotions. And from Monday to Saturday, we post uh, different programs. Like in on Monday, uh, there's a Hindi message by Reverend Marvin P. Singh. Uh, he's a very good uh, preacher. And uh, previously, we used to uh, post uh, of our uh, pastor, Motilal, George Lucas, Reverend, George Lucas, Reverend Robert Rodriguez, and uh, Shok Singh. We have also on and on Monday, we put that on Tuesday, Keith Coons, and several pro also started more live morning 6.30, uh, from morning uh, 6.30, 
to 6:50. It's only 20 minutes. It's a wonderful devotion which is live through Zoom. And here is the WhatsApp number. If you are interested, you can also join. You can note down this WhatsApp number. That is 9319473370. You can note down it for anything, any of these things. If you are interested, you can WhatsApp me, and I I will respond. I'll get back to you. And later on, we have also started. Uh, Masi Vanna song. We started reproducing Masi Vanna songs, and we have started Masi Vanna YouTube channel, and we are trying to uh, put all these songs in Masi Vanna YouTube channel. And all the messages are also uh, we are trying to upload in the YouTube channel. And we have Hindi YouTube channel, we have Urdu YouTube channel, Bengali, and as you know, we have Marathi YouTube channel also. In literature front. We have started, restarted the Masivana magazine, which is a family magazine, very beautiful magazine. All uh, every age group can uh, go through it, and and we also newly started children magazine also, because during this lockdown we thought what children are will be doing because there is no Sunday school, not much happening, and nothing books to read. Because all books all have stopped, so we started children magazine in Hindi, and uh, many are liking it, and we got a very good response. And also, we have translated a few books in Hindi, and we are in a planning to also translate few books in Hindi and publish those also. And uh, we have I've done language groups. This is that we we are sending. Sending daily devotion in totally in seven languages. That is Hindi, Urdu, Bengali, Marathi, Punjabi, Odia, uh, and and Gujarati. All we are sending in seven different languages daily devotions. This all started from the Masi Vanna from 2012, which was shut down, and now we have come to hear that we are also doing in different languages. God willing, we will be also doing in more languages in the coming days as the Lord leads us. And we also started a Christian library in Delhi, Dwarka. And uh, you can contact this WhatsApp number. You can go to this Christian library, uh, and uh, you have a lot of different books in different languages. And it's very pleasant. You can sit and you can meditate. You can spend time half an hour, one hour. There's no there's no need to rush away. And we have also kept that who will visit this library. We are offering a free coffee. So if you are in any part of the country, if you want to have a Masivanna coffee, you can please visit our library. And also we have started monthly Zoom meeting. And uh, we have started this monthly uh, once we have started Zoom meetings where we gather our faith partners and we have a very blessed time. And uh, our radio speaker is going to speak. He is also he or he is only speaking in our Zoom meetings, uh, in Masivana Zoom meetings. So this is the journey where we have started from nothing, and the Lord has helped us to come to this end. And uh, God willing, uh, we are not on TV. If Lord leads us, guides us, Marathi and Hindi, we both uh, both the languages we are planning to come on TV. So we request you all to pray for us. And uh, if Lord leads you, you can support us also. This is our WhatsApp number. If you want to know more about us, you can anytime call us. Once again, I thank you all for giving patiently listening to us, listening to the Masivana programs, what it has been doing. Thank you for this opportunity. Uh, I want to thank once again the director, the chairman, the board of directors for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Abraham, uh, for that. Uh... Detailed and, uh, and clear. And uh, yeah, sir, one, one, one request. And uh, I also want to uh, spotlight two of our associates who have been yes. very much helping us, encouraging yes. us. That is Sonu Singh Chotala and uh, Ashish uh, from um, uh, Maharashtra. So I'll be spotlighting them. You can have a look. Uh, they are very young and dynamic, and uh, they are uh, very helpful also. So I am spotlighting them. You can uh, this is back to the Bible, which is written. It is Ashish. You can introduce yourself. You can unmute and just say praise the Lord. Yeah. Uh, praise the Lord. This is Ashish Urunkar from Maharashtra. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother Ashish. It's nice to see you.
Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ashish is helping with the uh, Marathi ministry and we want to wish him all the best and may God bless his family as he uh, assists Reverend Shirshad in various works. God bless you, brother. Yeah. Over to Sonu Singh. Uh, we want to hear a word from him. आशीषित हूँ कि मुझे मसीह वंदना में काम करने का मौका मिला है और प्रभु इसी तरह से मसीह वंदना को आगे बढ़ाए और प्रभु अपने काम को पूरा करे आप सभी से निवेदन है कि आप सभी लोग मसीह वंदना को अपनी प्रार्थनाओं में याद रखें सभी को जय मसीह की थैंक यू वेरी मच ब्रदर सोनू सिंह अप्रिशिएट योर हार्ड वर्क कमिटमेंट मे गॉड ब्लेस यू एंड योर फैमिली and uh, thank you uh, i hope uh, everybody is uh, waiting to listen to this one song that has touched the hearts of thousands of people or uh, maybe lakhs of people all over india vandana karte hai hum i hope uh, you'll sit back and uh, relax and go back to those wonderful memories god has given and we are very happy to have brother nathaniel who is one of our Uh, old singers of masih vandana come back again to sing this song for all of us for the glory of god over to brother nathaniel कर रखते हैं हम 
Thank you, uh, Brother Nathaniel Lal, for uh, bringing back that old refreshing memory for that meaningful song. And uh, I hope uh, you all are able to remember those days and uh, how your hearts have been refreshed through the Bible teaching messages of uh, Masihi Vandana and Vandana Kattehe songs and so on. Uh, we are very happy to let you know that uh, God has enabled the Kannada ministry uh, uh, in Karnataka to start the Bible teaching magazine called the Hosa Susti uh, magazine uh, that I just hold it uh, show. We have uh, Brother Anthony Raju, uh, our board of directors, who has taken the initiative to, to steer this, uh, to move forward the ministry of back to the Bible and translate the resources in Kannada. We have uh, Brother John, who is uh, associate and helping the ministry in various activities. Uh, we are uh, very grateful to them for all their efforts and appreciate uh, their uh, hard work. May God uh, bless them. We want to move ahead without uh, wasting much time. Uh, I want to listen to Reverend Ashok Singh, a very uh, renowned old radio Bible teacher of Masihi Vandana. And uh, I want to request uh, Brother Abraham Justice, who would introduce him rightly. So over to Abraham Justice uh, uh, to introduce our dear speaker for uh, this evening. Thank you once again, uh, sir, for giving me this opportunity to introduce the uh, one of the famous and the very dear and loving uh, founder, one of the founder of Masi Vanna, uh, Reverend Ashok Singh. He is not only founder of Masi Vanna, but he is also founder of Cup. He has completed his post graduation from Agra, Agra University. And also he has done his theological studies from Leonard Theological College, Jabalpur. And later he studied about radio uh, programming uh, in, U in United Kingdom. Uh, further he studied there. And he, uh, he did his course and completed the technical thing from United Kingdom and came back to India and uh, joined the Masi Vanna in 1973. He began his career and his ministry in 1973 through uh, Masi Vanna, and he was there in Masi Vanna till 1981. Later, he worked in TWR, Vishwavani. He was also a pastor in uh, DBF, and uh, uh, currently, he is uh, founder of a organization called Sekem, and uh, he is 
uh, nurturing and monitoring and is taking care of that organization which works uh, basically in uh, religious places wherever the word of God is typically to be preached. And uh, the, it's important for me uh, to tell that uh, our dear Reverend Ashok Singh, he came into the ministry, he came into the uh, uh, closer to the Lord. It is only because of his uh, beloved wife, uh, uh, Auntie Chandra Singh, uh, who encouraged him, who brought him near to the Lord and also have been instrumental in, his, in, the, in the ministry of uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, which is, is doing it. So uh, that is the main thing, which he always it is very dear to him. And he is also uh, very aged and old. Recently, he was sick with COVID, but we all were praying and I sit and fine. And we uh, thank uh, for for Reverend Ashok Singh for giving us the time and joining us. Thank you, sir, for joining us and welcome to once again to the Back to the Bible program. Over to Reverend Ashok Singh. Praise the Lord. Thank you so very, very much for this opportunity that uh, back to the Bible, particularly Reverend Anil Kumar, the board of directors. And uh, of course, I can't subtract Abraham Justice, who is the main instrument and bridge basically to link me to all the dear brothers and sisters across the country. And uh, uh, people say I'm old, but I'm not old, okay? <laughs> I'm not going to be old till I'm 99. <laughs> so continue to pray for me. And the Lord is carrying me through. And my dear wife sitting next to me, uh, who is the instrument who was able to encourage me to understand the need of Jesus Christ in my life. I was born in a Christian home. My grandfather was a Methodist pastor and I was a very active musician and choir master in my church. And uh, uh, later I was qualified musician. Later I tried my luck in <clears throat> In those days, I had luck also. Now I don't have. I have Jesus with me. So my I don't have luck. So in those days, I tried my luck in movies also. I did work something for some time. Came back, got married. And uh, my wife was able to encourage me. And then she led me to Jesus. And finally... She also encouraged me to consider uh, the full-time ministry in life, which I never wanted to be in the ministry. I did not like the word reverend. I did not like the word pastor, pope, or anything, uh, because I considered they were only religious stalwarts making money for their bellies. But later on, when I met Christ Jesus, uh, through another dear friend of mine, whose name is John the Apostle. Uh, he made me to understand who Christ Jesus is. And so I committed my life to Jesus through John's gospel. And later on, I had another, made another gentleman, a good friend of mine. Uh, I'm going to talk about him later. So he is still helping me uh, in my walk with the Lord and in my spiritual growth. So thank you, my dear, helping me to, and it's my pleasure that uh, Chandra joins me here now so we all can see each other. So the greetings from our family, greetings from our ministry called Shechem. We have a missionary statement we call it, we say like this, 
sharing God's perspective on life and saving God's people for life. And this is what our mission, mission statement is. And both of us are continuing, uh, particularly among the religious community. Because I believe the religion is not the need of man. The need of man is the awareness of God, the creator. And you cannot know God until and unless you know his revelation. Uh, he has revealed himself uh, through somebody. And that somebody is a son of a carpenter in the history of the world. His name is Christ Jesus. And so if you want to know Christ Jesus, you have to come back to the Bible. So that's why back to the Bible exists in the world. And it was, it has been my privilege in my life uh, when we were at Leonard Theological College uh, studying theology before. Uh, one morning in my personal study room, uh, in those days I was doing a study on Revelation in our personal devotions. And uh, chapter 14 and verse 6 came before me. And there I read like this. And I saw an angel flying in the mid-air. He had the eternal gospel in his hand for every language. And then he named the language, language and, and people and so on. I started thinking, what does this word want to say to me? I have done geography. So I immediately understood, what is this mid-air? Stratosphere up there, down there atmosphere, in the middle it is ionosphere. What is ionosphere? Well, ionosphere is, uh, it, it collects the electrically charged waves up there and bounces back to the planet of the, uh, on the surface of the earth. Oh, I got the idea immediately. Lord, you are talking to me about radio. Yes, ionosphere picks up the radio waves and bounces back. That's what we got the vision and call for about radio. And then the Lord led us to meet four men who have been praying for a radio broadcast in Hindi language. And uh, we were praying for the fifth man and I happened to be the fifth man. So we, we, I, we, I went to Delhi, prayed together and we all had freedom particularly those four men, they wanted me to be the part of the team. And finally, by God's grace, we were able to uh, start Masihi Vandana. So thank you once again, my dear people, my dear friends, Brother Anil, Brother Abraham, Board of Directors of Back to the Bible in India, and all the dear friends, who are watching and part of this uh, particular gathering at this moment. Thank you very, very much for having me here. Tonight, when I was praying, the Lord led one particular thought on my heart. And uh, you might have received that in your invitations. It says, listen, man, there is hope. Turn back to the Bible. In 1972, this sticker was prepared by Back to the Bible. As I saw that sticker, I immediately brought it and posted it and pasted it on my entrance at my house. And uh, those who, who were able to read that, most people were sinning. What does it mean? Listen, man, there is hope. Turn back to the world. First line, probably they were able to understand. But turn back to the Bible, they were not able to understand. Now that gave me an opportunity, my wife an opportunity, uh, to talk to the people who 
were questioning or they were inquisitive about it. And so the Lord gave us wonderful opportunity to help them to understand what the Bible can do in the life of a person. I had freedom at that time. And I had an opportunity to express my heart out what the Bible has done in my life. I'm so happy I, 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 I did not commit my life in any meeting. I'm not against meetings. <laughs> my wife had done, had committed her life in Akbar Huck's crusade. But I have not done that in any meeting. I came to the Lord Jesus in my bedroom. Not in the church where I played organ or led the choir. No. I came to the Lord in my bedroom. And my evangelist who led me to the Lord was a lady. Most of all, it was the word of God, the Bible, the textbook. And that's why the Bible is my textbook. One of the great things working with back to the Bible, I have learned and under the teaching of Dr. Theodore Rapp, I learned one thing. Bible has to be the textbook of my life, in my life. And so I became a student of the Bible. I'm still a student and I want to continue to be a student because if I make a mistake, I can save myself. You know, it's very easy. But I, if I become preacher or teacher, then it's very difficult for me to, be, to save myself. I'm not an authority over Bible. I'm simply a carrier message. What God lays on my heart. And it's so wonderful to know the fact that God is available as he was available in the past to many <laughs> prophets and the writers, those who, uh, who have contributed in the canon of the Bible. He is still ministering to some people. He's just still ministering and he will continue to do so because the world does not need any religion. World needs the word of God. Word of God means what is in his God's mind. He has perspective. And his perspective has to be made known. And for that reason, tonight I would like to share a few things with you. And uh, those things I have chosen from the pen of one other friend of mine, his name is Paul, Apostle Paul. Now why Paul? Most people like Paul, but I have a particular reason for liking Paul. John led me to the saving knowledge of Jesus. Paul has been my counselor over all these 50 years of my life, rather 42, 52 years of my life, ever since we got married. Paul has been counseling me all the time, helping me to understand the gem of truths, you know, from the word of God. Every bit of it, he explains through his writings, whatever I need, particularly the doctrinal understanding comes from his writing. Now, coming to one of his writings, uh, which he, the letter he wrote to the church in Colossae, the modern Turkey, in the first chapter, if you turn your Bibles on, please with me if you've got Paul has made a great effort to write to this church and help the church to understand who God is and what he can do and what he has done through his revelation, Christ Jesus. This is what this has been required in every age in the past. And this will continue to be required in every age 
of the mankind. Because amazing fact is this, that God is entrusted in man, whether man is entrusted in him or not. He is entrusted. Now, religion doesn't teach that. Religion teaches if you love God, so in return, God will love you. No, no, no. Bible doesn't teach that. He loved us first. And then let us love him. Why God loves? God made us. And that's why he loves with a hope that one day a Shok Singh will fall in love with me. And then a romance will occur between both of us. Some people are allergic to the word romance. I don't. I enjoy romance. I'm still enjoying romance with I'm still ro enjoying romance with my God. I'm still enjoying with my uh, romance with my Lord Christ Jesus. Even the Holy Spirit as well. The triune God being given to me to love. And so I'm enjoying romancing with them. You see, if we don't have romance, we don't understand what the love is all about. Love is not a mechanical uh, thing. No, 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 no. It has to become the part of life. Now, Paul had a concern for Colossae, so out of the same concern which God has for the mankind, Paul's pen starts working for Colossae. And he comes up to say, let me read from verse 3, then we will go come to the actual text we are going to meditate upon. I'm going to read from verse 3, first of all. He said, we always thank God, the Father of our Lord Christ Jesus, Jesus Christ, when we pray for you. It means, Paul said, I have been praying for you. And he is not, in the, in the text, we have not, we, they don't, we, they, the singular pronoun is not being used. It's the plural pronoun. We. We. It means Paul and his team. One of the great things in the back of the Bible ministry, I, I enjoyed the prayer ministry in back to the Bible. That's why the follow up in back to the Bible was existing and growing. When we had the floods of letters coming in uh, in response to Masiv and the broadcast, the question came how to handle these letters in the first year. We had 90,000 letters. And we were a handful of people. How to handle those, those letters? And my understanding tells the people, if somebody in India writes a postcard, he or she writes out of his poverty. If somebody writes to us uh, an Indian letter, inland letter, in those days, it used to be a 15 paisa. Sorry, 15 paisa for postcard and 25 paisa for inland letter. That means he is trying or she is trying to open his or her heart. And you need to open it. Because somebody bought that form from the post office, came down, wrote down everything on both the sides, and then closed it, pasted it, and posted it. Now it's my turn to open it. Yes, it requires involvement. God had been involved ever since the tragedy happens, happened in the Garden of Eden. He has not given up. He has not seated. And as the part of the Back to the Bible ministry, I couldn't afford to sit down. Though I was the man of the studio, my requirement was in the studio. Microphones, tape recording machines, musical instruments, sitting and speaking and all that, hosting the program. These were, these, were the, my, these, were the, these were these were my duties. I was not asked or I was not appointed to 
answer the letters and all that. No, no, but that was the requirement of the broadcast. That was the requirement from the heart of God. Other day I was reading Philippians and to preach in my congregation. I have a small Nepali congregation. I have to speak to them every Sunday. And I was reading, sharing with them from Philippians chapter 1 and uh, being confident of the Paul said, he, he who began a good work in you will carry it on the day to completion until the day of Christ. He will carry it to completion. God doesn't want to leave everything half way. No, that's not his nature. That's not his nature. Abraham Justice was asking, Uncle, do you think we are doing some sensible thing restarting the Masihi Vandana? I immediately encouraged him, said, you are not restarting, you are re-resurrecting it, bringing life back to it. And we are with you upon this earth. Of course, God is with all of us. Anything started in God's will and plan, he will carry it through. What Paul is saying here, we have not given up praying for you. We pray for you. I want to assure you, Brother Anil, we pray for you. And we'll continue to do so till I am 99. Okay? Amen? Yeah. And then come down to nine with me. Paul says and repeats his same words, but in another way. For this reason, since the day we have heard about you, because he had heard about their faith, heard about uh, their hope, and so heard about their love for God's people. So he's mentioning that since we have heard about these things about you, so we have not stopped praying for you. We have not stopped. In King James it said, we have not ceased praying for you. Hindi mein ke likha hai, humne tumhare liye prarthna karna nahi chhoda. Nahi chhoda. We have not ceased. When Masih Vanna was not on the air, there were people in the country, when I was traveling, they met me, though I was working with Shivani, I was heading with Shivani at the time. And people used to ask me, because people do not un, uh, un, uh, recognize me as the head of the Vishwani, but they, they recognize me with Masih Vandana. I used to, I remember Don Ruvish has said, Ashok, Ashok, the name Ashok Singh has become a household name in India. It cannot be omitted anytime. You do anything in your life. And that's for true. So I told the Lord, Lord, Enable me in such a way that I should be able to keep the honor that you have given me in my life. People heard. People waited. <clears throat> People tuned their watches in the morning, 6.45. People opened their hearts. And if I say, Sorry, I cannot pray. Imagine, just think about what will the kind of impact these people will have on their hearts. 83% people of India, those who responded to Masih Vandana, they were from the non-Christian background. God had touched millions of people. Our target audience was 300 million people. Now, God is not counting millions and all that. God is only counting in one soul repents. I like the mathematics of Jesus. 
where two or three are gathered together in my name. That means they know my name, recognize my name, they have accepted my name, they have accepted my person, they know me, they are connected with me, they abide in me, I abide in them. Paul says, we have not ceased praying for you. The aim is what Paul is going to say. We pray that the, you may have God's wisdom, understanding, and knowledge, and be filled with his will. Let me read the text here. We have not stopped praying for you or asking God to fill you with the knowledge of his will through all his spiritual wisdom and understanding. Now, this is what the biblical faith all about. And this is what, back to the Bible, had been preaching all through, right from the very beginning, ever since Theodore Rapp started his first broadcast. World needs to know the Lord through the wisdom, through knowledge, and through understanding. The emphasis is on the word know. K-N-O-W. New Testament gives the word in Greek. The Greek word is gnosis, which means having personal acquaintance with. My brother Paul, again, when he wrote to his spiritual son, Timothy, he said to him, wrote to him in the first letter, chapter two, verse three and four, he said, one thing is pleasing to God. He likes it. What? Every man must be saved. Because there is no sin in God. Man chose for sin. Man chose for uh, self-consciousness. Uh, uh, Self-centeredness. God is not like that. God keeps on sharing whatever he has. That's his nature. That's his basic nature. Whatever he has. He shares, he shared, even to the thing, you know, he shared his own image. Wow. I don't know how many times Adam thought about it. I don't know. I was not in the Garden of Eden. But today I can see, even in myself, I, when I stand in front of a mirror, I keep on admiring myself rather than God who created me. Isn't it? We are so self-conscious, isn't it? Even being a believer of the Lord Jesus, I'm so self-conscious. Oh, I'm a believer. Oh. So I started looking at people diagonally <laughs> instead of horizontally. I start looking at people diagonally. Hey, I'm here. You are here. No? <laughs> I'm talking about believer. I'm a believer. I'm a servant of God. It happens to me. But God's not like that. God never gave up with sin because he doesn't want, he didn't want Ashok Singh to die in sin. So that's what Paul cites in his writing. He wrote to Timothy, this is what God likes. It pleases him. Every man must be saved. And second thing, he says, those who are saved, they must know the truth. Gnosis. No gnosis. They must have personal acquaintance with the truth. And what is truth? God himself is truth. The revelation of God said, I am the truth. You know Jesus, you know God. How to know Jesus? You know the Bible, you know Jesus. 
there is no other document in the entire universe, not world, entire universe, which can give you a description of God. A description comes only in one perfect man, the person, Christ Jesus. If you have Christ Jesus, you can approach God. If you don't have Christ, I'm sorry to say, <laughs> that's religion. A religion is not the need of man. God, the creator, revealed in a savior and the Lord, named Christ Jesus, the need of man. Paul is saying that here, and he goes on to say here, not only knowing him and through his through the wisdom and knowledge and understanding, but we pray, verse 10, we pray that in order that you may know, you may live a life worthy of the Lord and may please him. What is worthy of the Lord? Worthy of the Lord means. When God looks at us, he, he must say, wow, what have I made? Not, Are ye kya ban gaya bhai? I wanted to make something else. What has come out of it? Oh, no, 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 no. no. I don't want it. That's work. That's worthiness. God wants to enjoy our creation. God wants to enjoy looking at us. I just want to ask a small question. Have you ever thought about it? That God wants to enjoy us? My dear brother Paul said once, in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 9. This is our goal that we might please him in every way. He said in one of the translations, he said, we make it our goal. We make it our goal. Adam would have not thought that or about it in the Garden of Eden, because he was self-conscious. Basically, to me, oh, disobedience was not the first sin. The first sin, according to me, was the self-consciousness. Disobedience was the result and outcome of self-consciousness. And remember, my dear friends, when you become self-conscious, you don't need God, because you become your own God. You start leading yourself. You start leading everything around you. Why do you require God? God doesn't want to come and help you out only in the little, little roti, kapda and makans kind of stuff. No, no, no. God wants to come into my life so that he can enjoy me and I may enjoy him in return. That kind of relationship he is looking for. It's a kind of relationship as we have the relationship between husband and wife. That's why marriage is the best example about the relationship between God and us. Paul goes on to say here, we pray for you that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and please him in every way. Bearing fruit in every good work. Growing in the knowledge of God. But then I come to the main text. Being strengthened with all power according to the glorious might of the great endurance and patience and joyfully giving thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the kingdom of life. Interestingly, 
In Paul's prayer, you can note the Paul's prayers often pass swiftly into praise. Like his petitions, his items for praise are predominantly spiritual rather than physical and material. First thing what we notice is here, Paul is talking about in verse 12, give thanks to the Father who has qualified you. How has he qualified? Hey, Adam, God is here to qualified you because you were disqualified in the garden. And he has made the plans over the years through all dispensations happened before the coming of Jesus. He had walked through and he has worked in such a way that he can qualify you to know him, to get you back to him, to get you back into his kingdom in his presence. And you keep on doing things on your own way. Karma, 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 karma. Yeah, there are Christian karmas also. That's religion. God doesn't talk religion. God doesn't have religion. He's not a religious idea. Tell me one play where religion, Jesus Christ preached religion once at least. No. But before I read my Bible at the, by the, at the time of my conversion, before I read the before uh, before my conversion, when I read the Bible, I, I hardly read the Bible rather. And when I heard the messages, they were all religious messages. You do this, you do this, you do that, you do this, and God will do that in return to you. When I started reading the Bible, I came to know, hey, God has done everything. I simply have to believe it. I simply have to take it to me myself. That's all I have to do. My grandfather, pastor, told me one day, walk on the Bible. Are you, walk on the Bible? Can you, the holy book. Can I stand on it? <laughs> and one day I stood on the Bible. You, you, you only said to me, Bible, par chalo. Then he said, hey, you are dishonoring the holy book. Yeah, it may be holy book for them, but it is not holy book for me. It is the God of the Bible is holy for me. And it doesn't mean that I have to disrespect Bible. No, I have the great respect in, for my Bible. I don't give my Bible to my, my wife even. Because that's my Bible. I love it so much. But I don't treat it as a religious instrument for me. No, no. It's the love letter of God to me, which I read every day. <laughs> my wife has stopped giving, reading my love letters to her when I wrote to her many years ago, before marriage. I asked her, where are those letters? I don't know where they are lying. Lying. I'm happy she's not lying. Even I'm not lying. See the kind of longing God has in you, for you, and for me. Paul says here, he qualifies you. In other words, he remakes you. That's the first thing. Paul said, whosoever is in Christ Jesus, he is a new creation. Hallelujah. God makes you new. He doesn't have a repairing workshop. He doesn't have a denting, painting workshop. No, 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 no. He brings the broken car into his garage and demolishes it completely and starts making new out of it. Wow. Jeremiah acknowledged it and said when he was weeping on the condition of the Jerusalem, 
he said, we are not consumed, we have not died because of your great compassions made anew for us every morning. Compassion. The Hebrew word for that is chen. Chen. We get grace out of it in English. The Greek word charis for grace also comes from the same root. Charis, mata, charis. But that's God's work. This is the way he qualifies us. Every thing which has been completely demolished, he gathers up the crumb, crumbs and makes it new. Wonderful God. The second thing what Paul talks about here, here he says, if you check here, he has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the kingdom of light. Every believer or unbeliever, even after becoming a believer and follower of Christ Jesus, we still live in the world and we are surrounded by the darkness of the world. Our three great enemies, some people say there is only one enemy. No, no, no. There are three enemies. The first enemy is yourself. It is your first enemy. Your body is your enemy. Second enemy is the world around you. It entices you with many things, many projects, many plans. The third enemy is the arch enemy, devil. Now three of them continue to work side by side. Because they don't want us to be qualified by God. They want us to be qualified by them. And so, but God wants us to take us into his kingdom. And that's why Paul says here, he has qualified us to take us into the kingdom of the light. The kingdom of light is the kingdom for the saints of God. It's not for everybody. The saints of God, where his people, the called ones, the chosen ones, are admitted. I recall Brother Buck Singh's statement one time. I was spending time with him in Bethel, uh, sorry, Hebron in Hyderabad. And he said to me, have you come to join Christendom? or the kingdom of God. I got confused because I was a baby believer. I got confused. I said, brother, I don't understand what is, what would he mean by this? He said, God is calling you into a kingdom. And that kingdom does not belong to the earth, world, and world system. But Christendom is Christendom belongs to the earth and the system uh, by which it has been designed and, and, uh, and made, and it is also controlled by it. Now, where you want to be, tell me, he said to me. I said, I would like to be into the kingdom, kingdom of God. And he said, that is the kingdom of light because all the enlightened ones are there. He told me. I was so thrilled to listen to it. And I prayed to the Lord, Lord, help me that I should be there. Second thing in verse 13, Paul says, for he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his son, of the son he loves. It is not only just the kingdom of the saints of God, where they are admitted, but it's the kingdom of the Son whom God loves. 
God loves his son. His name is Jesus Christ. He values him. And anybody who comes through him to God, God never rejects anybody. Of course, he doesn't reject anybody except for sin. Anybody who comes in the name, in the trust, in the belongingness, in relationship with Christ Jesus, God grabs him. Jesus was giving a parable in John, in, in Luke 15, and he said, when one soul repents upon this earth, there is great joy in heaven. The second instance, when it is repeated, Jesus said, when one soul repents, there is a great joy in heaven in front of the angels. Now, who is happy and glad and rejoicing in front of the angels? God himself. He's waiting. He's waiting. Somebody must return. And I'm willing. Somebody would say, Lord, save me, Peter said. And what did Jesus say? Come up. And he held his hand. He was drowning. Come up. God is looking for Somebody must come. Listen, man. There is a hope. Turn to Jesus. Turn back to the Bible. There is hope for you. Third thing in verse 14. What does Paul say here? In whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sin. Streams of blood that flowed from the sacrifice of the Old Testament times could not redeem people from their sins. And the writer of the book of Hebrews puts it this way. The law is only a shadow of the good things to come, not the realities themselves. For this reason, it can never, by same sacrifices repeated endlessly year after year, make perfect those who draw near to worship. Chapter 10, verse 1. Hebrews. My dear people, the shadow of a key cannot set a prisoner free. The shadow of a meal cannot satisfy the hunger of a starving man. The shadow of a Calvary could not redeem a sinful soul. Only the shed blood of Christ Jesus made an effect. Yes, it made an effect. It brought redemption. You know how casually we read these words, the forgiveness of sin. We take it very lightly, very casually. How we have grown under the burden of the guilt and sin. Modern psychology traces many emotional problems to guilt. The secular psychologists, however, have few, if any, real answer to the problem of guilt, except to persuade the guilty, guilty one to shift the blame to someone else. The guilt continues to remain. The secular humanist therapist knows nothing about the law of sin and death. It's a basic and comprehensive explanation to the human behavior. Sin, guilt, death. And the answer is very simple. Shift it all to someone else. Who is that someone else? Jesus, the Christ of God, the perfect one. Take his life in exchange. And that is why we can have the redemption through his blood, as Paul says here, even the forgiveness of sins. 
forgiveness. Who can forgive sins? Only God. Only God. And even he can forgive only on the basis of the shed blood of Christ Jesus. At such infinite cost, we can know the forgiveness of sins. In telling us about the Old Testament sin offering, the Holy Spirit repeatedly talks about the place where the ashes of the offering were poured out. Ashes of the sacrifice. We are told that the fire, ashes tell us that the fire has done its work. It has consumed the sacrifice. Judgment is over. Wrath has been spent. Ashes. You can stir the embers of the fire and rekindle the flames. <laughs> but ashes cannot be made to burn, my dear people. Such is God's forgiveness. Such is God's forgiveness. Our guilt once dealt with at Calvary, is as dead as the ashes of the sin offering. Dead. Utterly dead. Never again to be rekindled into tormenting, consuming fire, flame or fire. Now such was Paul's prayer and concern for the church in Colossae. Who were the believers and the followers of Christ Jesus. And today, it includes you and me too. Where do we stand? Can we say, yes, I am qualified. Because God has qualified me. He had remade me. I am remade. I am restored. Second thing, I am restored because I am rescued. I am rescued from the dominion of darkness. And I am redeemed as well. As I am redeemed, I experience in my life what? Oh, the great experience. The price has been paid for me fully and pardon has been provided to me fully. If the pardon is pro been provided to me, can I forgive others? I want to tell you, you and I cannot forgive anybody. Even though we may recite the prayer, Father, forgive us as we forgive those who, for, who sin against us. We may keep reciting the words of Jesus in prayer, repeating them. You will forgive and I will forgive when I remember I am forgiven. Remember. We are forgiven. And the world needs this message. world needs this message. And who will give this message? Who will pass this message on to the people in the world? Those who have no hope of forgiveness. Those who have no hope of restoration. Those who have no hope of spiritually being rescued. Only the redeemed ones can tell them. Only the redeemed one. Listen, man. There is hope. Of your usage. Turn. To the word of God. The Bible. The Bible will encourage you. What you have received freely. Pass it on to others freely. God bless you.
God bless you immensely. God bless back to the Bible. God bless uh, our dear brother, Reverend Anil, chairman of the board, and all the board members, the teams in every language group we're working. And the good work which you have started and carrying it on, carrying it on to the last breath of your life. And God's going to do great things through you. Amen. God bless you. Let's pray. Father, we bow down before you because you do exist. That's why we were able to talk about you. Your existence causes our existence. Your existence reminds us we are living. We can live in you. We can live in the light because you are the light. And so, Lord, we are grateful to you for such moments that you continue to give to us day by day, particularly for these moments that you gave us today, this night. We were able to ponder upon your word and glean those things which you intended to pass it on to us, O Lord. Thank you for the ministry through your spirit tonight. And this is our prayer, Lord, that the great work of Back to the Bible may continue to flourish, continue to be expanded, and continue to extend in such a way that many lives, not only in this part of the world, but Lord, in the extended world, in the extended, extended area of this particular portion of the land, may be blessed uh, by your word and may come to the saving knowledge of Christ Jesus. Our eyes long to see, our ears to long to hear, Lord, and the eyes will see the knees bowing down and mouths shouting and saying, Jesus Christ is the Lord of this region. Let it happen, Lord, in our lifetime. We pray to you, Lord, earnestly. Thank you for all those, those who are instrumental during the history to bring this great ministry into the world. Thank you for Dr. Theodore Rapp, Melvin Jones, Christian Wise, and all the dear ones who contributed in different ways. Lord, and we thank you for the Indian portion. Thank you for Don and Frida, and thank you for all the dear ones who were instrumental reaching out to different languages, in different languages, Tamil, Sinhalese, and uh, Telugu, Hindi, Urdu. And today, Lord, we are able to hear that Marathi has joined. We thank you, God. We pray that uh, the Maratha people be blessed, Lord, uh, receiving your word through this great ministry. Bless, bless each one, Lord, each person and their families, when they continue this great work, Lord. Let our hearts continue to be obedient to you, Lord, and listening to you, and only knowing your perspective on life and passing your perspective to the uh, concerned people in our region, wherever we are, wherever we labor, and wherever you want us to continue to be. Bless the ministry, provide for the ministry, and encourage people to join their hands and join their knees and join their minds and hearts for this ministry. Protect this word, O oh Lord, and continue to minister to us during the night, the days to come, and continue to remind that your spirit is still willing to reach out to us and reach out to others through us. Help us to be available for you and to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I have to request uh, Reverend William Carey, sir, to pronounce the benediction. <clears throat> and uh, now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us, abide with us, both now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, uh, Reverend Ashok Singh, sir. I appreciate and uh, your dear wife and all the uh, board members.
partners. And uh, we thank God for keeping you with us, Reverend Ashok Singh, to tell us the story of how it all began. And hope we can spend some more time in the days to come and hear how God uh, Amen. has been helping you. And uh, yes, I want to thank God for the message you brought out today very uh, powerfully that God has made us to enjoy a relationship and not a ritual. And how uh, true it is that we all can experience God in a true way, in an enjoyable way. And thank you for sharing that. Uh, May God bless you and continue to use you. And uh, thank you uh, for one and all. We are having uh, Brother Nathaniel Lal, sir. Appreciate uh, being with us all through this. And we have some staff uh, from Good News Broadcasting Society uh, participating, uh, Sister Vani and Priscilla, and uh, Senbaga Devi, and Brother Palnivel, and uh, so many uh, people from uh, a lot of. Uh, different locations, uh, stayed back, though it took some time, but uh, being encouraged through the word, may God bless each and every one of you. Continue to pray for us, and may you uh, stand with us as we move forward. Maybe you can all uh, switch on your videos for a group photograph, just smile. Just uh, we can have a picture of remembrance. I know that uh, uh, some some of you might be busy with your things, uh, but thank you for staying back. And uh, you can say hello, or unmute, and uh, uh, want to say something. Abraham is waving his hand, and uh, thank you very much uh, for all of you. Uh, nice to see another William Carey in my lifetime. <laughs> I could not see him actually, the previous one, but the new one I can see now. So I can tell the Lord I have seen William Carey. Yeah, and and our dear Reverend Shishat is also has on this camera. Wonderful. He's with his, he's with his wife. Thank you, uh, Shishat sir. I yes, uh, yeah, appreciate uh, you being with us in spite of uh, the difficulties. Thank you. One more opportunity to hear Reverend Ashok Singh. I remembered my school days when he was on the radio and I was in the school and still we used to not understand much, but I used to like that program. I never knew that I will be from listener to a radio speaker and Marathi back to the Bible. But here I am. So it reminds the good old bygone days, Reverend Ashok Singh. And it is really an encouragement and challenge for us. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. My <laughs> pleasure. I want to say, sir, I want to say I'm Pastor Emmanuel David from Chennai. But you. I am with you in Mishuani for three years. Oh, Emmanuel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sir. Yeah, hello, hello, sir. I was with you, Bishu. You know, sir, you are a you are a leader for us when we trained around forty-two missionaries. Alex, yeah. Deepa, and Virinder, all they were there, no, sir. So you are our leader. You and ML ML Annan both were very helpful for me. Yeah. I was in Varanasi. Do you remember, sir? I was in Varanasi yeah. doing the ministry yeah. over there. So I thank God that I call, got an opportunity to meet you, sir. God bless you. And I was uh, helping Masivanna also from St. Martin's Church. The brother may be knowing. I was in St. Martin's Church as a Hindi pastor. Oh. Hindi pastor, I was in St. Martin's Church, Delhi Cant. So yes, the pastor brother, and that another brother. They, yes, they we, do, we, we do remember you, brother. We haven't forgotten you, pastor. So no, so no, we will remember you. Yeah. Uh, and uh, now I am doing migration ministry, pastor. Migrant ministry in Chennai. Oh. I am in Chennai now. And I'm doing uh, uh, this migrant ministry among Bengali, Urdu, uh, and uh, Hindi people. And God has given a church to me. And I have around 20 people from all from mason workers, all are, mm -hmm. all are doing mason working. 
only sunday they get leave so they i send a bus to them they all come together we have in this so i uh, i uh, request brother abraham to send me some hindi magazines sir uh, definitely sir definitely sir i have i have whatsapped you i have uh, in the chat i have put my number you have noted yeah. it now some yeah, hindi please. calendars hindi yes. calendars hindi magazines and yes. hindi books you please you please whatsapp me the address and send you yeah and i'm doing hindi translation sir over here oh. Okay. In okay. Delhi, in Chennai, I am doing Hindi mini, Hindi translation for books. So okay. I have some books like Honey Drops and other books, and I am doing translation. Kindly pray for me. And yeah. from seventy three, we are listing Masi Vanna. Yeah. Seventy three. Yes. Yeah. Mot, uh, Uncle Motilal, Bishan Singh, and all your auntie, they used to come to our house, and yeah. we had a very good meeting with them, sir. So kindly pray for us, and we also pray for you. Yeah, please join our Masivana Zoom meeting. You will meet Mission Aunty, uh, sorry, no. Oli Aunty's daughters and many more. You can meet them. Okay, 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 okay. Surely, surely. Every Saturday, the Aunty used to tell us story. Yeah. Every Saturday, yeah. And that story changed my life. To be frank, thank, thank you once again. Thank Uncle Ashok Singh, praise Lord. Praise Lord. Thank you. You can open up your uh, videos and uh, you can see uh, friends and say hi. Hi. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. Uh, we'll just play a few songs uh, as you enjoy and then we will leave the meeting. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you, Uncle. Thank you, Anil sir. Thank you, Uncle. Wonderful program, sir. Anil sir. Really enjoyed. Thank you. Really enjoyed, sir. That's a wonderful program. Brought to people, life to Christ. Thank you, sir. Praise God. Thanks for joining. Thanks. Praise God. Uncle, how is Lazarus, uncle? Brother Lazarus. He's fine. He's fine. <laughs> I remember the team. God bless all of you, sir. The same. I mean, Yes, sir. Please speak, uh, uh, Mr. Michael Blake. Yeah, yeah. I want to know if uh, do you uh, plan to have any branch branch office here in Bangalore? Yeah. Thanks for asking. We have a branch office in Bangalore, Hosa Susti. Uh, recently uh, started a couple of years back. Uh, we can share the address with you. Yeah. Which place is this in Bangalore? This is in uh, uh, what is this? Uh, Bangalore. Sir, note down my number and call up. I am just giving you. Yeah. Yeah, mention the address, no problem. No, you can if you can note down the number nine double four. Nine double four. Nine two four. Nine two four. Three five one nine. Three five one nine. Now, whose yeah. number is this? This is uh, 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 Anthony. Oh, uh, yeah. 
Yeah, what about he's uh, he's the person here in Bangalore, is it? Yes, he's the person, he's a board member also. Okay. Uh, you don't have the address, is it? And you can just contact, he will tell you the address. Sir, I have sent you yes. in message. Sir. WhatsApp, is it? No, no, chat, chat. You can check in the chat. Chat message. Okay, let me check. Okay. Mr. Nathaniel Lal wants to say something. Yeah, uh, my, my WhatsApp number, if you can note my WhatsApp number. Yes, sir. Yeah, it is double nine. Double nine? Double zero. Double zero. Six. Six. Double zero. Double zero. One two eight. One two eight. Yeah, uh, the Bangalore address, uh, Bangalore address, if uh, you can forward it to me, that'll be great. Sure, sir. We will do that. Thanks for joining, sir. Okay. Right. Thank you. This is Nathaniel Lal, sir. Uh, you want to say something? Yeah. If you don't have, we'll move ahead uh, and uh, listen to these songs and then close. No. 
That's uh, uh, so nice to see uh, Brother Anthony Raju with us. Uh, thank you, sir, for joining. And uh, Nathaniel, sir, uh, it looks like uh, you want to say something. If you want to, please go ahead. Uh, Anthony, sir, uh, you can unmute and uh, share. So glad to see and uh, join at the end of the meeting. Yes, sir. Thanks, sir. Thanks for joining. So please pray for uh, Canada Ministry. Yes, sir. Yeah. And uh, we are getting good responses uh, in Karnataka. Wonderful, sir. And people say uh, we have seen many magazines, but uh, most of the magazines say about their ministry. Okay. But this magazine says this magazine is full of God's word. So Thank people you. People are enjoying. And right now we are printing 500 copies, but we want to increase 2,000 copies. Okay, sir. But we need the support and the prayer support for this ministry. Sure. Yeah. Appreciate you. uh, all your hard work and Brother John's uh, coordination. Thank you, sir. Yeah. We pray for John. Yes, sir. And he does all the typing, compiling, printing, everything. Sure, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Uh, we will close uh, if uh, there is nothing to share. Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll listen to your final song and then uh, we'll exit. Thank you.
Thank you very much. Good night, everybody. God bless you.